Hi, this is Dr. Joseph Sarkisian. Of all the applications of the water lays in dentistry, the one that carries most significance is prevention of root canals. Now, usually when a dentist faces a very deep cavity in a patient, the default treatment suggestion is root canal, post and crown. This obviously has caused many a consumer to cringe and turn to alternative practices such as laser dentistry. This video showcases the steps involved in this procedure in a live case from my own practice, accompanied by illustrated sketches I have included to clarify this highly popular therapy and its different steps. I first use a rough diamond to remove gross decay from the periphery towards the middle and this creates a proper access for my later steps. Once I have created the proper outline of the cavity with the rough diamond, um, I proceed with placing the wide bevel with a red striped football diamond. As we know, the extent of the true cavity in the tooth is a lot wider and deeper than what it initially presents. The next step, which is one of the most important steps, is to use the water lays in order to remove and trim back the gums that are covering the decayed tooth structure along the neck of the tooth or the cervical margin. After we have exposed all aspects of the cavity, both supragingival and subgingival, we now proceed with a very slow uh, tungsten carbide round burr to scoop away decayed tooth structure, but still staying away from the very deep aspects of the cavity. We have to pay particular emphasis to that part of the dentin which extends into the undercuts of the dentino enamel junction. The water lays is used to remove the rest of the deep decay and in such cases we always strive to avoid a pulp exposure however that may not be possible especially in very deep cavities. Once we get a pulp exposure we defocus or just go slower or reduce the power and we make sure that we remove the deep decay which is covering the pulp roof or the pulp walls and we also make sure that the exposure does not have any pus and has proper bleeding and is not hyperemic. In cases of hyperemia we can wait and irrigate the tooth with ozonated water and see if it will quiet down. If there is pus then an adult tooth will probably need a root canal after all. After the laser and possible, of course, in this case, it was a reality that we had a pulp exposure and very, a very small one, probably a couple of tiny ones. What we do is we etch the bevel only with phosphoric acid and after irrigating with ozonated water, we then apply the MTA or mineral trioxide aggregate to the exposure. We try to clean the uh, peripheral excess of the MTA as much as we can and we use a, a self-etch bonding agent to bond and coat the whole area of the dentin, trying not to directly touch the MTA, but rather having it just diffuse in from the side. We then gently dry it and cure and apply a layer of Ultra Blend. top of which we apply a layer of compomer and then 
we complete our composite by adding layer after layer of flowable composite. Of course, that is a matter of choice. Could be some flowable sandwiched under proper packable composite. I find flowable a little easier to work with and I can also work with different shade systems. A tooth is a biological system and it will react in certain ways. Even after we do our best, they may still fail or they may survive. Thank you for watching. Thank you.